What up guys and welcome back to Night City. Well, I'm headed to Lizzie's bar to meet the informant. Um, don't worry about these guys. I had a little uh, altercation with some tigers in an alley back here. They're just ducking for dear life. Shall we? Yo, 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 my tumors, shroomers, and tumors, Mr. White here. Rocker goggles? Oh, what up, Lizzie's Bar and gas station, it looks like. <laughs> oh, wait. Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? Sure, I'm in. Sure, and I go. Hold it, house rules first. There will be severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you. Like I don't know. Mm-hmm. Doors open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. <laughs> My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dead spunk. Okay. I was just saying, what's up? What? You want a new friend? Yeah, everybody's like so friendly here. Get you something. Does he still work here? So, curious. The name Lizzie's. Is that the owner? Not for a long while, no. And it's none too sweet a story. Now I'm just flat interested. Real Lizzie ran a strip joint out of this place back in the day. Lizzie's bar. Those were paid right, short, and had decent security. Good spot, all in all. Too? Let me guess. It didn't last? No. Tiger Claws took care of that. Tiger beat one of Lizzie's girls real bad once. No hesitation, Lizzie blasted the guy's balls off. The gang came back the next day. Liz was done. The Tigers gave this place up to the Mox in the end, though, didn't they? Sort of. The Moxes had to make a deal with them. Luckily, they kept their heads organized quick. The big boss now is Susie Q. The sign stayed up, out of respect. Biz booms to this day. I'm looking for Evelyn. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here. Who's asking? A big tipper. A big tipper. Generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But I'm afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. Right. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Oh, did you? Since on, only tequila I drink. <laughs> How you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. 
Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why be here? Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can I do? Nothing wrong. Like really? really? Why don't you yeah, just like tell me the truth? I just told you. Okay. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. Don't know him well. Haven't worked together long. You don't you don't care what Dex thinks. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No. Just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him. Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. The other kind? Elaborate, please. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere. Not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet... It's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's just talk biz. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka. Making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Nope, out of my price range. Never had the opportunity. You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arisaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arisaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? Let's see what you got up your sleeve. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? So what is your Nobu? Netwatch? Something doesn't add up. Wait, neutral Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations, and collects eddies in the millions for it. But, in this day and age, everyone's in the game. And no one can afford to be a saint. 
To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu slate to get in return? So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant. You focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens and I get the chip. Or does Yorinobu keep the relic? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Yuri Arasaka, what else do you know? What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Maybe he's just got a taste for power. Could be another power-hungry corpo dick, like so many others. <laughs> Ever tried to imagine what life might be like for an emperor's son? You have everything, yet you are no one. Nothing. At least as long as you remain in Saburo Arasaka's shadow. I... sympathize. It's a vulnerability I understand well. And one you plan to exploit fully. What's on the relic? One more thing. Data that's on the chip. What is it? Irrelevant. Entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. Okay. What's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, it can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp. Mm -hmm. Exactly what you need. No, but what's no, on the don't tape? Thank me. Yorinobu's you suite. Like anything else? The glorious interior. I, uh, You'll need to locate the relic yourself. I hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. You. Mm -hmm. Feel like my computer's like struggling to keep up. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, no objections. No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. No, don't not cry. Not the latest member of your crew. Mm -hmm. Try not to forget. Sure. So, you'll be a good boy. Tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Okay. A lot of servers. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. 
best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Hey, hey, Judy. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So, we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Nah, never. Look, I'm no BD virgin, but the raw stuff? Uncharted territory. Relax, I'll explain everything. It's less complicated than it sounds. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Create your sensory profile first. Okay. Profile away. Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory six. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to calibrate each time? Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... <sighs> Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. What'd you choose? What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Start the BD. Okay. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in in three, two, one. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody! On the ground! What I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Huh? Yeah. Hey. Uh, uh. Now, before I blow your fucking head off! Ugh. Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. Huh, could've... Could've warned me. That flash of... intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. You could've warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode.
sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. All scenes yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. Now, where will fuck can drop you, I swear to God! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision, then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn. Evelyn. I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only purge in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out. Just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn. Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn, she... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said, no. They'll have my head for this. Then, you shall perish for a good cause. But, uh... Make yourself comfortable. 
I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I'll get to it. I just want to see the whole thing My first. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. You will listen to this. Sabo is an adult despot. Wow, champagne's utterly decent. removed from reality. Taste boosted somehow. Stuck in some no, fossilized vision of a world Same bubble you'll that be no longer in real exists. Soon of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Noted. In hmm, hung up. Go back to when they first start talking. Need to hear the whole thing. Don't worry about it. We'll see it. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Hmm. It wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment. It will pass. Hmm. I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me. Only one. Focus. Oh, got any candy left? Stuff was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Very nice, but come here already. Just a sec, looking for the perfect thing. Ah. Uh, You'll like this. Oh, fuck. It's like I'm really... V, eye on the prize. Focus. Warui kome. I miss this. You. I know. Let's go all the way back. You look like a cunt. 96% modification, extreme, extreme caution advised, Jesus. New tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Alarm firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling to this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their SIGs. Fuck all me. Alright. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling? Servers. Gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Servers. I show a good cause. But, uh, Make it self comfortable. I need a minute to finish. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old gray beard who thinks nothing will change. And he'll live forever in his tiny, 
frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. You know. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Okay, let's see what we should... So, later on... Oh, hello. Automated turrets. Latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally? No way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm. Looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Really? Can we get around them ourselves? Nope. At least I'm fresh out of ideas. Oh, got any candles? I think I remember seeing. Loaded. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. There it is. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Air conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy-ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Oh, hello. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? Yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. 
Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling VDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We really needed that recording, Judy. We needed that recording, Judy. The BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Till next time, I hope. Well, don't worry. Won't do anything to get you in trouble. But, uh, I hope to see you again. Depends. On what? Whether you come alone or with a tag along. Like a net runner. No runners. I promise. See ya. Sweet. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? Not afraid they'll tie you to the heist? You're not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? So what now? So, what now? V. Do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You wanna haze our fixer? You wanna fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. Mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Um, I kind of had enjoyed blasting scabs. No fucking way. Dex took a leap with me. He trusts me. Now I'm doing the same. 50%. With cred like that in your account, you won't need Dex for anything. I'm not about to fuck over Dex. No, Evelyn. It's not just about the money. I thought you were a merc. I thought it was always about the money. Not behind the back of someone who trusts me. Sorry. Fine. I never asked. But V? Hmm? I just hope you're as good as you are naive. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How much? No, no, at least double that. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. 
Everything's ready to roll. What now? We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. B. But it's chill, you know. Then, this guy stumbles in. Alright, guys. It's gonna be it for this video. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.